You are watching a special presentation of the 2020 and 2021 Gold Star Teacher Awards presented by the R.J. McElroy Trust and KWWL Television. Here is your host for the evening, Jim Waterbury. Welcome to the Gold Star Awards for Outstanding Teaching. Things look a little different with our virtual program this year, but what a year this is to recognize great teachers. Thanks for tuning in to help us celebrate and to honor our Gold Star winners for 2020 and 2021. The Gold Star Awards recognize outstanding teaching in Black Hawk County. We're here to tell all teachers something they don't hear often enough. We're here to say thank you. This year is a challenge no matter what, but just staying rooted in your passion and your love for teaching, and that hasn't been shaken no matter what COVID throws our way. I have had a death in my family because of COVID and members of my family have been in the hospital and then coming to school every day too. I think that was probably my biggest challenge. This school year was just balancing that home life and that school life. And I know being at school, it helps me so much because at home, it's just, it was nerve wracking. I really try to have a good connection with all of my kids and when you can't see them or communicate with them, it makes it really challenging. So in the spring, that was the big thing. And then coming back into the building, the mask I feel like is the biggest barrier. You can't see your smile. We just had to go with it, you know, and be safe. And we didn't like a lot of the things that we had to be doing, but I'm just fortunate and happy that we were able to be in the building and be with our kids this year. So if these were all the things we had to do, it was worth it in the end to be able to be here. The kids have just been amazing. Wearing face masks, social distancing, there has been no problems with that. They have accepted everything we've asked of them, and I feel like they've just been so excited to be back in the room. It's been a really good year. I've always liked school, but this has really made me just appreciate it a lot more, and I think that's happened to a bunch of other kids too. We don't grow unless we experience challenge and we get out of our comfort zone. For us to embrace this year and adapt and be flexible, there's gonna be so many takeaways that we have moving forward as professionals or educators that we wouldn't have had if we didn't experience this year. When we first got here, we had the A-B schedule here at East High. And I enjoyed the schedule because it divided students up into the separate days and it was, it was easy to establish relationship building with them. I'm glad we were able to start off with that relationship building piece because for some students it has carried on into the second semester. I bet we've moved 15 years ahead in the use of technology just because we had to. And now having everybody one-to-one -one from K-12 provides such amazing opportunities. It's setting students up for success. There are things that I didn't think we could do. The conferences, meeting with parents with a Zoom has just been amazing because sometimes parents are busy at work or they can't get away to come into the building and through those kind of things we've learned we can have successful communication virtually, <laughs> which I, we'd never done before. If you had asked me a year ago, I probably would have said a lot more of the challenges that I were crushing my soul right because i needed people i think we just established that we can get through some pretty tough things as a community and it's not always going to be smooth it's going to be bumpy but we're going to grow from those bumps and again a year later i'm using that bump as a silver lining like that's amazing and what a wonderful lesson for our kids to learn we have been all in this together if one hurts we all hurt so we're all going through this together so they understand and letting them know that this is okay it's okay to feel scared it's okay to not know what's going on. We're gonna get through this. Yes, it's gonna look different, but yes, we're still gonna go about every day. We're still gonna to come to school. We're still gonna work hard. We're gonna see what we do to make this year still a great year despite the coronavirus. If the weather's cold and the crops aren't coming in, they'll still come in. Give them time. These kids, they're gonna grow. We have to love them and give them the right environment to let that happen. And they're gonna be just fine as long as we love them and help them love learning. Teachers, we want you to know how much we appreciate you. 
Teaching is never easy, even in the best years. For the past 15 months, you've had to reinvent everything you ever knew about teaching. Then you had to make things work for the rest of us, the students, families, and communities who depend on you every day. You have succeeded beyond measure. Many of our Gold Star winners graduated from the University of Northern Iowa. President Mark Nook is proud of the College of Education, and he wants to congratulate you too. Thank you, Jim. And congratulations to all the outstanding educators who make up both of this year's Gold Star classes. Teachers form the backbone of our communities and the impact they make on the lives of children and families in the Cedar Valley and across our state and country is immeasurable. Preparing world-class educators has always been at the heart of the University of Northern Iowa, and I am delighted to see so many of our alums making an impact so close to home. We know the critical work of teaching comes with many challenges, so I appreciate the McElroy Trust and KWWL for recognizing the importance of education in the Cedar Valley and honoring these exceptional educators. Congratulations to each of you, and thank you for your commitment to your students and the Cedar Valley. This is a big year for the Gold Star Awards program. We are celebrating two classes of Gold Star winners for 2020 and 2021. The Gold Star Committee read all of the applications to select our award recipients. It's a huge job, and we'll hear from the committee later. Each Gold Star Award winner will receive a $500 grant to benefit their classroom and a personal check for $1,000. Now it's time to meet the newest Gold Star teachers, so let's start with the class of 2020. Denise Aldrichs, our first Gold Star teacher, is a fifth grade teacher at Aldrich Elementary School in Cedar Falls. A parent said, she has been a life-changing teacher, putting my child and so many others on a new trajectory in life, and I'm forever thankful for that. She creates new ways for her students to learn, like leading her classroom into new territory as they pretend to be early American settlers. I think she's great because she has a great sense of humor and she always makes us laugh, but she also has us get our work done and she's a perfect mix of fun and really positive. You smell like my soul's full free! <laughs> what do you mean? That's, okay. That's right. Try it. Just try it. I think the relationship building is a huge factor. With that, kids build trust and they'll take risks. The relationships that build amongst the students between themselves make us just like this huge family where we are bonded together. She just makes you feel good. It doesn't make you feel nervous. I'm not afraid to speak up if there's something I have to say. You're comfortable and you're, you just feel it's like it's a safe place and that you're just gonna be fine. It's fun to have her as a teacher and she's just an awesome teacher. It is the best job. I am so lucky to come to work every day. I have the most amazing students and every year I've been doing this for so many, but I can say that uh, teaching is so rewarding. It really is, it's the kids. It's all about them. Ryan Christopher, our second Gold Star teacher, comes from Highland Elementary School in Waterloo, where he was a fourth grade teacher. Ryan now serves as the elementary curriculum coordinator for Waterloo Schools. He loves seeing the growth his students make from the beginning of the year to the end. An associate of his said, he is the teacher that everyone dreams of having. His caring demeanor and high expectations shine through every day for his students. He's a great person, not just teacher. Everybody that had him, including my sister, she had him too. He always had ways to like help them at their level, not at other people's level. I love your math talk. What makes Mr. Christopher an awesome teacher is that he can put things in an example. He knows that we're probably not going to get it the first time, so he tries and tries over again. You got it. He's like the best teacher I've ever had. So if we add these two parts together, we should end up with this number? Yes, I like how you explain that. That's beautiful. I did not take the typical route to teaching. I was in manufacturing for 13 years prior to teaching. As a kid, when I was learning, I was like, okay, well, how am I going to ever use this? Where is this going to come in? So I think about fractions. Fractions were something I used every day for 13 years when I was working in manufacturing. It was huge. And then we also had to convert fractions to decimals because computers don't like fractions. So just explaining this is where you're going to actually use this in your life. I think that makes a big difference because then I'm like, oh, okay. So I do need to know this so that I can be successful at something else. 
I remember, so area and perimeter and math, oh, that, that used to always get me, but he used to always help me with it because all the other kids used to get it down, but I used to need it more time. He used to take the time to help me. Okay, show us how you did it. Okay, that makes sense to me. Oh, I love just getting the chance to work with kids every day. I mean, it's amazing to have that opportunity and then to watch them grow from the beginning of the year to the end of the year and just see them not only grow as students, but grow as people. I mean, it's, it's an amazing opportunity. Alex Conyers, our third recipient, is a science teacher at West High in Waterloo. In his classroom, you might see students proving atmospheric pressure exists by inflating a balloon into a flask or testing water quality at Blackhawk Creek. A student said, before he became my teacher, I didn't have much interest in science. Ever since he became my teacher, I've grown to love the subject, and now it's my favorite class. You get to do labs, which lets you experience what you're learning about and makes class a lot more interesting. In my previous science classes, we did some labs here and there. I wasn't really so interested in the class, but this year I really enjoyed what we were doing. It's very clear that he puts a lot of effort in his job. It's so critical that students have science literacy. All of the misinformation and uncertainty that is circling in our world right now, so I put a lot of effort into it because I'd like to set us on a brighter path in our future, one that involves an appreciation and an understanding of science. We'll be right back with more Gold Star Teacher Awards. Nikki Davis, our fourth recipient, is a band teacher in the Hudson Community School District. She's worked hard to create a space and atmosphere where students can be challenged and still relate to their music. This included setting up a jazz cafe in their school commons where her jazz bands could perform. One student said, she's the highlight of my day. She's so energetic and funny. You can tell just how much she loves her job and her students. 
I love teaching music because it just fosters this creativity in the kids. It's something that they don't get necessarily in other classes. And it's just neat to see them grow as musicians. It's a skill that's a specific skill. And so when they start as fifth graders to when, if they stay until they graduate, there's just so much growth there. She has a really good understanding as to how to teach people music. She will actually break things down and she'll try and try and try again until every single student succeeds or gets close to succeeding. You mess something up, she will tell you exactly what she did. Yep. Like she doesn't leave you to wonder or anything. Yep. And then when you do a good job, she tells you that too and she's really encouraging. It, it's, it's very inspiring. They develop skills that aren't just music. I mean, they can transfer to any other area of their life. There's so much dedication and commitment, confidence too in their performing, especially if they have to play solos in front of people. So it develops them not only as people, but as musicians. And so from when they can barely play and don't know how to put it together to when they're playing solos and really intense concert band pieces in front of judges, it's really cool to see how far they can go. Our fifth Gold Star recipient is Gail Farber. Gail is now enjoying her time as a retired Gold Star teacher, and we congratulate her on an outstanding career. Gail was an English language development specialist at Lincoln Elementary School in Waterloo. She was an advocate for the students working through language and cultural differences in our schools. A colleague said Gail is constantly finding research-based ways to reach her students. Though she has an extremely full roster, she puts in an abundance of time and effort to ensure that her students succeed at a high level. children acquire language, adults have to learn it. It's very backward, actually, and defies everything we know about language learning, defies everything in the literature that we start kids in ninth grade at language. We should start them so much earlier. We should be following the European model because kids just suck it up like a sponge. And so their brains are soft, and they hear it once or twice, and they've got it. They are spontaneously giving us French utterances. They are talking to each other in French. They absolutely know how to negotiate meaning with me now. They pay attention, they track, they have some language, they have a way in, and so now they're listening for the missing pieces. That's really exciting. And it also opens you up to an, uh, an entirely different way of thinking. It's such a huge advantage for them. Any teacher at any age is exciting when students learn. That's it. When they connect dots on their own. When I know that they know what they're talking about and they're demonstrating it and they're using it, that's happy. That's the best. It doesn't get any better than that for a teacher. Ashley Hager, our sixth Gold Star teacher, is a second grade teacher at Cunningham Elementary School in Waterloo. She said about her teaching, my teaching is special because my students are special. It's very important in her classroom to honor culture and ancestry. One student said she's always gone above and beyond to make sure that her students are where they need to be to succeed. Before I went to Ms. Hager's class, I didn't do my work. I messed around a lot. After I went to Ms. Hager's class, I did my work, didn't talk back, and I was a leader. My students know that I have super high expectations regardless. I tell them, I'm here to teach you, but I can't make you learn. I tell them too that your education and what you have inside your head is the only thing that nobody can take away from you. That's a big deal to them, that no one can take this away. Great job. I lost my dad and I got the phone call in front of that class. And so there were days where in the slightest ways they would they would just say, your dad's really proud of you right now. I really wanted to help Miss Hager, right? Because I really, really wanted to help that day. She's like another mom to me. I used to tell her that her dad was watching her and he was proud of her for how good teacher she was. Because my dad died too and I know how it feels. The last day of first grade when I told them I was looping with them to second grade, I told them that Sometimes I need you guys more than you need me. You help me get through the days more than I probably help you. So I'm not ready to let you go yet. And there was tears and they were so excited. And so that class will always hold a special place in my heart. 
Becky Keeling, our next recipient, is a science and math teacher at Blessed Maria Asanta Pilata Middle School in Waterloo. You'll see a lot of crazy things in her classroom, such as frog dissection, designing space launchers out of cardboard and marshmallows, and even figuring out how popcorn pops. A student said she should be a gold star teacher because of her willingness to help her students with homework or classwork. She's such a nice person and a caring person. She's been teaching in the Cedar Valley Catholic School System for 41 years. I love to see those aha moments. Last year I had a student and he just jumped in the air. He goes, I got it. And it was just letting kids be kids too. That's what I'm hearing that I thought was living. Turns out, not at all. Mrs. Keeling gives us the information that we need, but not all the information so that we can have the aha moments. Today, we were working on living and non-living things. One of the pictures that I chose, I thought completely 100% that it was living, and then I went over everything that was required for a living thing, and I realized, wait a second, it doesn't reproduce, it wasn't living. I love this profession. It has changed over the 40-some years that I've been in it. It does take a lot of your time, in school and out of school, but the rewards of that kid saying, I get this, is a big one, is a big one. So it's a lot of work, but the rewards are greater. Ryan Lehman, our eighth Gold Star recipient, was a second grade teacher at Lowell Elementary School in Waterloo, and now teaches Lowell third grade. One parent said, I love that he makes class fun for the students. My daughter is always coming home and telling me something fun that they did in class. It makes school enjoyable for her. By including silly dances at the start of the day, nicknames for every student, and high expectations in his classroom, he has a classroom that thrives on a balance of work and play. He's cool, he's funny, he's kind. He loves unicorns like I do. Look at that unicorn. When I was a kid in school, it seemed like it was always, you know, just this. I was like a lot of my friends that you see in here, I was wiggling all over the place. And, you know, I just, I didn't like that. I wanted to be able to express myself. I wanted to be able to get up and move around. And so we do a lot of that stuff in here. We move around a little less this year, you know, with COVID and everything. I like to, whatever I can do and stay safe with, I like to, you know, be able to let them have some fun while they're learning. Moose antlers. We develop nicknames for everybody. And I mean, they're playful and they're fun. And if a kid ever says, ah, I don't really like that nickname anymore, then we switch it, we find something else. Her nickname's Turtle, but her job title is Princess of Darkness. I had so many great teachers that I worked with at Lincoln, you know, some great teachers that I met here at Lowell. And I just kind of try to take little pieces here and there and make it work for me. It might be a little louder in here and we might move around a little bit more. I usually go for the slightly more fun options and uh, the kids seem to react pretty well to that. It's just a lot of fun. Rebecca Lenz, the ninth Gold Star teacher, is a school counselor at Pete Junior High in Cedar Falls. In charge of a girls leadership program called LEAD or Loving Everything About Differences, she has unified her students in a culture of mutual respect and confidence. One student said, she always makes me smile when I see her in the hallway, and she cheers me up no matter what. She always makes everyone feel special and happy. Mrs. Lentz is such a great teacher, and if anybody has like any doubts about anything or is going through stuff and they need to talk to a counselor, Mrs. Lentz is always going to help you. She's like my mom at school, like, I know I can come to her for anything. It really feels good to have someone that cares about you like that. And I don't know what I would do without someone like that at school. Zoe in the house? Oh my goodness, I love your shark mask. About six years ago, there was a student that I was working with, with individual counseling, and she was recovering from an eating disorder and just very openly wanted to have an impact where she could help other girls not go through the same thing she did. She and I had this collaboration where we created LEAD and she came up with the acronym, Loving Everything About Differences. It's a place that makes you feel welcome. Even if you like don't have a friend group at school, you'll have like a friend group in LEAD, so it's really nice that way. It totally aligns with our goal to be able to create a culture where we can champion each other and we can love the differences and we can bond over the similarities 
but we're championing each other instead of competing with each other. <laughs> Today we did a activity about stereotypes where we wrote down something that we've been called before and once they were all mixed up we went and picked out someone else's and read it and explained how they might feel with that stereotype. It was cool to put myself in other people's shoes. Uh, okay, I just read mine. Before lead, sixth grade was hard for me and when I came to Pete and then I got lead, I started realizing like, oh yeah, I, have, I can make new friends and it'll be okay. If I can get a group of girls during this kind of turbulent time of life and really help them see themselves in a more positive light and then grow up to be these dynamic women who are outstanding in their fields and in whatever roles they're in. The impact I never could have foreseen from this, but like the joy in the work I do each day with them too. Sherry Parker, our final gold star for the class of 2020, is a second grade teacher at Dysart Geneseo Elementary in Dysart. Working to make her classes and school fun, she plans Halloween escape rooms, and she puts on wacky costumes for themed dress days. She also believes that every child has an area where they shine, and she gives them opportunities to do it. One student wrote, she makes her students laugh, and she is so fun. Anyone is lucky to have her. I feel like one of the best parts about teaching is getting to know the kids. Every kid in here knows more about something than I do. So to figure out what that student is passionate about and knows a lot about and putting them up in the spotlight so that they can share and they can feel important about that, it brings out the confidence in each student. I feel like that is one of the most important jobs and parts of being a teacher. Yes, you are right. She always does something different for dress up day. She had lots of wigs in her closet, and it was really funny. When the teacher's having a lot of fun, and I really do get into the dress-up days and the holidays, it brings the fun into school, and school needs to have as much excitement and things to look forward to as we can. We'll be right back with more Gold Star Teacher Awards. Welcome back. Before we meet our 2021 teachers, let's hear from Madeline Ridgway, a member of the Gold Star Selection Committee. 
Hi, my name is Madeline Ridgway and I'm a member of the Gold Star Selection Committee. As a committee member, I count the opportunity to read and review the teacher submissions each year as a privilege. We value that each year students, parents, co-workers and community members take the time to nominate their favorite teachers. At a time when we're hearing about more and more teachers that are leaving the profession, I think it's important that we show support and shine a spotlight on them whenever we have the opportunity to do so. Teachers plant seeds today whose fruit our world will see for many generations to come. We should do all we can to make sure their cups are filled so that they're planting the best seeds possible. This is why I hold Gold Star so near to my heart. It's an opportunity to fill teachers' cups. We couldn't do Gold Star without our committee members. We also couldn't do Gold Star without our partner, KWWL. They've been our partner in the Gold Star Awards program for 33 years. Please enjoy this brief clip to learn more about the history of the McElroy Trust and his long-standing relationship with KWWL. Hi, I'm John Huff, KWWL Vice President and General Manager. R.J. McElroy, or Mac as most people refer to him as, started KWWL Radio way back in 1947 with the following words. I dedicate this station to the service of all those within hearing of its voice to a better way of life through enlightenment. His voice was well known on the radio and people tuned in from all over to hear his live broadcasts, including his well-known man on the street interviews. He would stand outside on the corner of the Blacks building in downtown Waterloo and interview people passing by. He also gave away bread because one of the bread companies was a sponsor. He later founded KWWL Television in 1953. Listen to Mac's voice introducing the very first KWWL TV broadcast, November 15, 1953. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are indeed very proud this afternoon on November 15, 1953 to be able to project this initial test pattern to you. We invite you to use this test pattern so that you can adjust your set for the best possible reception of KWWL TV. Mac had to leave school after the eighth grade to help his family by earning a living, but he cared about education his whole life. He wanted to make himself better, smarter, and more successful, and he worked hard to do it. Mac died in 1965, and in his will, he made an investment in Northeast Iowa's young people by establishing the McElroy Trust, the proceeds of which are to be used for the educational benefit of deserving young people. In 2016, KWWL and the McElroy Trust were honored with the Governor's Emmy Award, national recognition of the outstanding work of the Gold Star Teachers Program. The criteria for the award was simple. Did the story achieve a standard of excellence? And did it help the community by changing lives? The judges answered with a resounding yes. This Emmy symbolizes the important work of our Gold Star teachers and the positive impact all teachers have on our kids and our communities. If Mac could have seen how many young lives would be affected by the opportunities the trust gave them, he would be so proud and so pleased. That's what makes his story so great. Mac dreamed big dreams and took big chances. Our job is to keep dreaming big and keep moving his vision forward. KWWL is proud to keep Mac's legacy alive by honoring the great work of our Gold Star teachers. Congratulations and thank you. It's time to meet another great group of teachers, the Gold Star winners for 2021. Pamela Bellows, our first Gold Star teacher for 2021, is a virtual fourth grade teacher at Aldrich Elementary in Cedar Falls. Mrs. Bellows has three teaching goals, to ensure each child knows they are loved, to keep the love of learning alive, and to build a strong sense of community. One of her students said, Mrs. Bellows is a great teacher because she includes everyone. She teaches us how to be kind and she knows how to have fun. Probably my favorite thing about Mrs. Bellows is how every morning when I wake up, she's the one who motivates me to go downstairs to my desk, to go to school and to do my work, and to do my absolute best. And it kind of reminds me of a book I've read called Miss Bixby's Last Day. And they say that the good ones are the ones who make school worthwhile, and they're the ones you don't want to disappoint. And I really have to say that Mrs. Bellows is one of the good ones. Escape room, are you ready? My favorite thing about Mrs. Bellows is how she's always kind and caring. I think it's definitely about how kind and caring she is. She has been the best teacher I've ever had. She really is into kindness. Her favorite saying is, is it better to be right or is it better to be kind? And she just 
<laughs> loves being kind, and I really like that about her, and I just think she's a really great teacher. I love them so much. I kept saying, that's all they say about me is I'm kind. But isn't that what we want them to say? Like, isn't it, we want to grow kind humans, right? We want to grow kind humans. And I think becoming a teacher lets you not just help them learn and grow academically, but it grows their hearts too and helps them grow into the people they're going to be. Karina Carlson, our second Gold Star teacher, is a 10th through 12th grade Spanish teacher at Union High School in LaPorte City. She enjoys getting to work with students for multiple years and watching them grow into amazing young adults. She encourages students to find something they love doing and never stop. A student of hers said she has so much on her plate and she still cares so much about students' feelings and learning. Language isn't just reading, language isn't just writing. That's what they're comfortable with, but when you're learning a language, there's music, there's videos, there's crazy things to learn, and, and that's important, and that's what they remember. Something that really stuck with me was the atmosphere she created in her classroom. Her class was always something I looked forward to during the day. It was the uplifting class of my day. Always made sure to push us in the right direction and allow us to grow, not only as students, but more importantly as people. When society is talking about those high schoolers and they're horrible and you don't see them every day and you don't, you don't get to see them grow. And, I really get to see them figure out who they are. I have students that have written books. I have students that have gone on and, and worked for big companies, and I have students that are just great parents. And that's just cool to know that. Jane Klein, our next Gold Star teacher, is a second grade teacher at North Cedar Elementary School in Cedar Falls. She enjoys learning new information and strategies from peers. Jane is always trying new things to keep her classroom a constant place for learning. A parent's nomination said, Mrs. Klein goes above and beyond in many ways for her students and families, and she contributes to our community. If you did it like Gavin, stand up. She's really patient, and if we say, can you please slow down, she'll slow down in like math or reading or something like that. Did somebody do something different? Gage, what did you do? I took a class a couple years ago with my teaching partner and we just saw the power in being able to help kids be flexible with their math thinking, knowing there's always one right answer, but anybody can get to it different ways. Helping them see just because I solved it this way, someone else can do it differently and being able to be more efficient with their math strategies. Every Wednesday we do yoga. I like to do it because it just helps a lot of people like calm down. It always makes a difference, being able to be self-aware of how I feel in my brain and in my body. One more deep breath. Teaching them about ways to breathe and regulate and calm, and it's just been really cool to see them start to use those strategies and starting to see that they have a power and a control over fixing and getting it back into the groove again.
We'll be right back with more Gold Star Teacher Awards. Renee Dre, our fourth Gold Star Teacher, is a first and second grade teacher at St. Patrick's Catholic School in Cedar Falls. Renee enjoys a lot of things about being a teacher, celebrating holidays, connecting with her students, but most importantly, seeing her students grow academically, personally, and socially. A student's nomination stated, Ms. Dre is a good teacher because she helps me. She thinks I'm a leader because she tells me so. She's very kind. She has salamanders in the class and I like that. She's really fun to have as a teacher because we do fun activities. <laughs> she needs a really good essay to convince her, right? I feel like we try and let them use their imagination and let them really figure out what their gift is and what their talent is in a variety of different ways. So giving them a variety of outlets, whether it be writing, whether it be drawing, whether it be through a book or just talking to me. Yeah. Love that idea. I, I, he would just howl. Yeah. We do a lot of just like read-alouds, like funny read-alouds, so we can all laugh together and all just build that classroom community. What about eggs? Anyone eggs? Sheila Hollingsworth, our next Gold Star recipient, is a first grade teacher at Irving Elementary School. She enjoys interacting with her students and seeing the growth of each student in her class. She encourages her students to learn what works best for them and to build off of that knowing everyone has different gifts and techniques. A colleague said, I have seen her firsthand in the classroom, encouraging and helping her kids. She's a role model and a mentor for newer teachers, and she always has a smile on her face and encouraging words to give whenever they're needed. I really think it's important for uh, kids of color to be able to see someone that looks like you. And so many times parents really connect with me because I'm of the same background, I go to the same stores, they see me in the community, they know me. So it makes it much easier for me to have that foundation of a relationship. My mom told me that she knows me from like a big past. She's a part of like black people's family. She's just a nice lady. I said this one's hard. She taught me how to read much better. She makes me feel like I want to just be her and I just want to stay with her forever, make her smile. I love her a lot as a teacher. You are the best. The most rewarding experience you could ever have, most rewarding career that you could ever have, just knowing that you are making an imprint on the lives of your young people. And that's something that you can always do every year. And they remember that because even as I got older and I see kids that have grown, grown up, high school, they remember me because I made a lasting impression on them. And that's something you can't get working in the office. That's just something you can't get in other fields. If I can do it, anybody can. And I'm saying that because there's been so many barriers, you know, that, that makes it difficult, but yet and still I'm showing women of color, it's there for you to do. Follow your dreams. Jason Knittel, our sixth Gold Star recipient, is a ninth and 10th grade history teacher at Waterloo East High School. He enjoys the uniqueness each student brings to his classroom, finding ways to help each of them become successful. A student said, he's an awesome teacher because he makes history lessons fun and entertaining. He's taught me a lot and he has never given up on me as a student. What I love about teaching, it's kind of like that aha moment when students actually understand the material, the concept of what's being taught. But also it's the connectivity, it's the relationship building, it's the skill exercises to help them become successful. He makes the students feel comfortable about themselves. He gets to know every student in the classroom and knows how to make them smile and laugh. Where? Are you hungry? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get you some food. Today was such a great day, and I had a, you know, this relationship breakthrough with an individual student. And that's kind of what I focused on when I did my doctorate, is how to work on the relationship building to increase academic success. 
communication or you know telling a story, a dad joke, you know what I do. Dad joke of what is the chicken across the playground? Get to the other slide. There's a lot to do as a teacher. You got to put on many different caps, and so there's not just one thing that I really say that drove me into teaching. It's rewarding all the way around. Amy McGovern, our next Gold Star teacher, is a talented and gifted teacher at both Lou Henry and Lowell Elementary. As a teacher, she loves getting to be a student every day. She encourages students to learn to love themselves and not be afraid to stand out. One of her colleagues said, Amy focuses on the strengths of all students at the school, despite their needs, whether they are struggling academically or they're gifted. She truly knows where they come from, she understands their potential, and she encourages them to forge ahead with priorities and goals. I think that Ms. McGovern's class is really nice because we get to be ourselves and be like really creative. We get to do things that are like my style and I like to be myself, and Ms. McGovern really helps us show that. I just don't ever want a kid to feel like they're in a box, and to be intelligent, you have to look this way or sound this way. I really want kids to kind of go through a path of who you are, what are your strengths, and let's figure out a way to use all that to make you the best version of yourself you can be. Her as a teacher, has a different style than most teachers. She always helps when we can't understand something. And I really like how she usually just lets us talk and be ourselves instead of just trying to limit that. Sometimes I talk at a time I probably shouldn't. And then she points that out and it helps me know when to talk or when to make up a joke or something like that. We call them campfire discussions and it's just Getting them away from the whole raise their hand, stare at the teacher for that affirmation. It is learning to look at your peers and have a conversation. Just getting them comfortable looking at their peers instead of their teacher. That's what I love. Johanna Nanke, our eighth Gold Star teacher for 2021, is a ninth and 11th grade English teacher at Waterloo West High School. She loves getting to be an advocate for and with her students to help them realize the future that they want to see. One student said she tries her best to make everyone feel safe and welcome. She's always thinking about the best path for her students. She's a kind, trustworthy, and responsible person. I'm from a town that is really, really small and everybody all looks the same and reading was my way of getting to go places when I didn't get to go places. So I just really wanted to be able to share that with kids who maybe haven't had those opportunities and hopefully they will. My best cousin, Ben Julio. She does things that normally other teachers won't and I really respect that because I think she's just a wonderful teacher, you know? I feel like she's very helpful. She's a teacher I can trust and like go to. I usually am not a, like a reader. But like when she picks out a book for us, it's very entertaining. This is your book. Reading is reading to me. You can read magazines about fly fishing. <laughs> I will give you graphic novels. I've got kids who might not have read books and now they're finding success with it and finding books that they actually enjoy reading. So it's just really about giving students choice, taking their lead, letting them have a say in it because then they feel ownership in that. Lynn Turnus, our ninth Gold Star teacher, is a third grade teacher at Dysart Geneseo Elementary in Dysart. She loves building a community in her classroom, allowing her to get to know each student and learn their strengths. She wants every student to set high goals and believe in themselves. A parent said, Lynn has such a caring heart. She ensures that all students get the support that they need. She's a top-notch teacher and a huge asset to our school. I just love this age because they are so fun. They have just so much energy and they're willing to learn. It's fun coming to school every day and seeing their smiles and just working with this age is so good. Bet you know if you understand what to do. Whenever I step into the classroom and I see Mrs. Teresa's face, I'm so happy and energetic. She does a lot of stuff that a lot of other teachers don't. 
I've just learned from past experience that putting some rhythm and some movement and some song into anything just helps kids learn. Seven times seven. So we have like these rhymes, like six times six picked up six, put them in a 36. Those rhymes help us with our multiplication facts that she made. Six times six picked up six, put them in a 36. Awesome. When they know that you care, they're gonna work harder for you. She makes not just me, but the whole class better people. And she just is a really fun and enjoyable teacher. Stacy Yoder, our final Gold Star teacher for 2021, is a seventh and ninth grade math teacher at Holmes Junior High in Cedar Falls. She enjoys many things about being a teacher, like seeing her students expand on understanding math concepts, collaborating with colleagues to share teaching strategies, and building relationships with her students. A student said she is deserving of this award because of her outstanding dedication and passion for teaching. She exemplifies what it means to be a teacher because she truly cares about her students and she works tirelessly to give them the best opportunity to succeed. I think Ms. Yoder is a great teacher just because she just makes math fun. Like a lot of students don't love geometry that much, but she finds a way to make it a good experience for all of us. When she's trying to teach, if you don't understand something, she'll go back at it and take as much time as you need. So if I can visualize what a pyramid looks like, a pyramid usually comes to a what? A point. Bringing geometry to life really helps. I feel like that it's more a hands-on curriculum. Me giving them instruction and then breaking out so then I can actually work one-on-one -on -one. and that has helped so much as far as classroom understanding. She's just a great person too, like outside of school. She's like a teacher, but in a way she's like kind of like a second parent. So what happens when two tough years meet 20 exceptional teachers? Well, everything, as we've just seen. Great teachers never stop trying, and they never stop believing in their students. On behalf of the R.J. McElroy Trust, we want to thank the Gold Star Committee, KWWL, and our Gold Star intern, J.C. Roy, for helping to make the Gold Star virtual celebration a success. We're going to be back again next year for our 34th Gold Star Awards, live and we hope that you will too. The Gold Star Awards are about saying thank you to every teacher who ever believed in you. Pandemics end, but great teaching lasts a lifetime. Thanks for joining us.